What is Gucci, everybody? It is your boy Brian. We are back today for another video. Stop shaking the camera. You're fucking dumb. Okay. Um, I appreciate all the love and support on the last video. Y'all really, really turned up after I dropped it. Freaking 150 views in a day. I can't thank y'all enough. Y'all freaking. Y'all really touched my heart. It's just crazy, bro. Anyway, that's not the point of today's video. Y'all, you do not know what the hell just happened to me. In order for me to tell y'all what happened to me, I gotta take you guys back throughout this whole process. I, uh, I was looking at jobs, and I scrolled upon this thing called the Disney College Program. Um, I looked at it, I read the description. They, uh, it's, it's basically, you go down to Disney if you're a college student. Freshmen aren't really accepted, so because they don't really have a lot of college experience under the belt, this really only applies to anyone who's a sophomore through senior year of your college career. Basically, you go down to Florida. You either you can either go to Anaheim, California, and go to Disneyland, or you can stay here on the east coast where i am i'm on i'm on the east coast you can go to florida and go to disney world and work there you get paid to work there you get college credit you take college classes and it looks very very good on your resume trust me freaking so anyway i applied for disney not thinking that i was going to get the best of it and uh, I was very, very shockingly surprised. I got, basically, they have a five-step checkpoint, a five-step check process that they, that they have out on their website. If you go to Disney College Program, if you search that up in Google, if you search that up like as a website, it'll bring you to this link, and it will show you, like, it will show you where you can apply, and it will show you your dashboard. Your dashboard is your account that you created after you applied for Disney through them. My account was through LinkedIn, so I couldn't sign in. I couldn't sign in through Disney. I had to sign into LinkedIn. So anyway, I signed into LinkedIn, and I uh, they liked my resume so much that they they liked my resume so much that they wanted me to have a web-based interview so I'm, I'm like screw it I'll do it so this web-based interview it's basically like a test it's like a test it's like an online assessment that you take for a college class they gave you multiple choice questions they gave you it was like it was it was three parts and part one was multiple choice questions part two was um, you rated stuff one through five out of out out of uh, how you rate yourself as you work and how you rate yourself as a person. And then part three was the same thing. You rated everything. So I took the web based assessment and it turned out that I was a very strong candidate. And I'm like, holy shit! Oh my god! I can't believe I'm a strong candidate for this shit. I'm actually gonna go to Disney right now. So. During that time, I was at step three of the checklist. Step four is the interview, and step five is the job offer. So step three is done, so right now I'm halfway. Step four, they scheduled me for my phone interview. So I had the interview on August 31st, which is my mom's birthday. I had it on her birthday. I came home from college, and I came home, and I took the interview. And the interview was about 15 to 20 minutes long. They gave you a time frame. And she and uh, they gave you a time frame. They asked you questions. I was like, sitting there with my Mickey Mouse ears on from when I was a kid. Just sitting there answering questions. You got to have a good tone to your voice. You can't be monotone or anything. Um, I just got a notification on my phone from the, from the program. I'll look at it after I'm done making this video. Anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, the interview. They give you 15 to 20 minutes time frame. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. I already said that shit. Um, anyway, they give you a minute at the end of the interview to ask any questions that you have. And me being the sports 
management person that I am, I asked her, I because I, I looked up an article online and it said that the Braves, the Atlanta Braves baseball organization was in their final year of spring training there because they have spring training at, on Disney property. And she, I asked her the question and I made her laugh, so... And that's a good sign. That's the, you need to make people laugh if you're on an interview, folks, bro. If you make them laugh, that's a good. That's a good sign. Don't don't be fooled. It's a good sign. So anyway, I was checking my the, my dashboard every day. I checked the, the next day. I didn't get anything. I checked the second. I checked the second, the third, and we're at the fourth of September of September, y'all. I was in my intro to sports management class at eleven o'clock. And I come back to my dorm, and I get a a text on my phone from the Disney College program. It says, "Oh, we oh exciting update on on your progress. Check your email." So I check my email, and it says, "Uh, congratulations." I was so I am shocked, bro. I I'm shocked, bro. Dude, you don't even know what the hell this means, bro. I have a shot to work for Disney. Actually, no, I don't have a shot. I am. I'm working for Disney. I I paid my fee. I paid the program fee. I'm working for Disney. I leave the 13th of January. I am working as a... I, I am working... They want us to work 30 to 45 hours a week. I am just... I am... I am so happy. I am a sports management major. Coming from a kid who worked for Huck Finn's Playland, and shout out to everybody who works at Huck Finn's Playland, and I love y'all. Worked for Huck Finn's Playland for two years. I, I For two seasons, I should say, cause, because they're going to get on me for that, yeah. I worked there for two seasons, which is like six months in real time I worked there. And they gave me... I am a sports management major who is working for Disney, and Disney owns ESPN. That is my dream, dude. Imagine seeing your boy working with Stephen A. at ESPN, having an argument. I'm better than Max Kellerman. Get his ass off the stage. <laughs> Bro. I am shocked. I don't know what this means for my YouTube career. I don't know what this means for my college career, but all I know is I'm going to Disney. Oh my god. I am going, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to take a plane down there. I don't know if I'm going to drive because it said on the job description, I read my acceptance letter, it said that, uh, it said that all the students prefer having a car down there, but I don't know if I want to drive that far, bro. It's a long ass drive. And plus, they want me to cook in my apartment. So I don't know how to cook. If any of y'all know how to cook, yo, show me how to cook. I don't know how to cook. I'm working in food and beverage, so I'll probably learn some things. But this is Disney. I don't know how much cooking they make, but they do behind the scenes. I am so blessed right now, guys. You don't even know. Oh, my God. I could be dorming with somebody who lives in Texas or Mississippi or freaking China or something like that, dude. I am working for probably the biggest company in the world. It's bigger than Google. It's bigger than freaking. It's bigger than Amazon. I'm working for Disney. I'm working for Mickey Mouse, bro. Oh my God. If you guys like this video, leave a, leave a thumbs up. I'll I'll uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what on what happens. Oh my God, the lights coming in. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm trying to get the light out of my freaking face. Okay, I'll just leave it here. I'll just leave it here. I'll leave you guys updated. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment. I love y'all, bro. Don't forget to subscribe. Put on turn on uh turn on the bell so y'all don't miss an upload. And uh <laughs> stay lit, fam. Hey.